Uh, so it's Sunday the 21st of April. If you're back in the UK, you're probably fast asleep. It's about six in the morning back in the UK. Uh, it's 10.42 here. Uh, a rest day, uh, too much snow on the ice fall and up above. So I thought I'd uh, take you into my world. Uh, it's obviously a bit snowy outside, but uh, this is my home. The Everest Million Tent, I'm sure you've probably seen it by now, but every day I'm gonna be adding names onto it from people from around the world. So all you have to do is follow at Everest Million on Twitter or uh, facebook.com slash Everest Million to find out how to uh, get your name on the tent. So here you are, this is the, the entrance. Uh, it's a pretty big tent for one person, but I thought I'd uh, show you into my world. So this is, uh, this is the lobby, I guess. Um, out here I've got, I've got my helmet all ready to go with uh, my head torch. And then this is the backpack which I'm wearing uh, all the way up to the summit. Got a few little bags, bits and pieces um, with all the rest of the kit which I'm not really using. And then down here I've got my crampons, ice axe and harness. And then this is, this is the main entrance. I have to admit, I have given it a bit of a spruce up actually. It was pretty filthy uh, beforehand. So this is what it kind of should look like. I've got my head torch dangling there so I always know where it is. Uh, a second mattress, uh, that's where Carrie slept. Uh, sadly, she's not here anymore, but I've decided to keep it, make my life a bit more luxurious. So uh, from left to right, uh, Carrie has done a sterling job. I've literally got like a, a medical center here. So I've got like my, my wash bag, I've got for the creams, sun creams, it's really easy to get burnt here in the ice fall. I mean, it gets to like 45 degrees. I've got multivitamins, I've got all sorts of bits and pieces which I'm taking every day. I've got tissues, moisturizers, got a first aid kit. Uh, and uh, there are my boots. I, I try and keep anything which is sort of mission critical. I really don't want to get it wet. I try and keep that inside if I can. So I've got my boots. And then uh, inside this dry bag, I've got all my sort of spare clothes. So base layers, uh, try and open it. I've got gloves. Um, I've got all sorts of rab kit in here, basically. All the stuff I want to try and keep dry, uh, I, I keep in there. Uh, I've got a second sleeping bag. Um, so eventually that sleeping bag will go higher up. So we only take it up the mountain once. Um, saves a lot of effort. Got uh, a little towel. And then uh, here in the evening, I, I've got my own comms tent, but in the evening basically, uh, I kind of lie in my sleeping bag. And then if there's any more stuff I want to put up, I try and do it in here in the comfort of my nice sleeping bag. So, uh, got a battery pack here. This is like a little wireless dongle, which turns this, that's a, a satellite modem. So, uh, instead of uh, at home, you know, where you plug your little router basically into the telephone line, this does it all via satellite. Um, it's made by a company called Cobham, and in Mars that are providing the data. Got a little sat phone, and then uh, instead of using a laptop, I've got, just got a, uh, I don't know, it's a little tablet actually, it's quite clever. And then, uh, I can't really open it with one hand. Yes, I can. There's a little tablet with a, with a keyboard, but it's brilliant because the keyboard comes off. So, you know, if I want to chill out, I can watch a little film or go on the internet and all that sort of stuff. Back here, I've just got a couple more dry bags. Just got like other random bits of pieces, got all the red noses. And then this is the sleeping bag. Uh, it's, uh, as you can see, it's, uh, it's pr pretty warm. But, uh, there we go. Uh, com comfort, it reckons uh, minus 29 and down to minus 67. It's like four seasons of sleeping bags. It's uh, really comfy. And then on the other side, I've got, uh, got a pair of headphones, which I quite like listening to. You know, just listen to a bit of music to sort of chill out at the end of the evening. I've got a flask. Um, because it gets so cold, it gets down to about minus 15 at night keep everything in this flask it means that um, it stops the water from freezing uh, pretty disgusting but that is my pee bottle so once maybe twice a night basically I need to wake up to go for a pee uh, that's just because your body's basically trying to get rid of lots of acids in your body so um, wake up twice a night instead of going out in the cold I uh, yep, go for a pee in that what else I've got here and then down here it's just sort of an electronic side really so I've got some solar panels by Sunlink, uh, 
I've got my heart rate monitor, a few bits of cables, and lots of stuff sacks and bits and pieces like that. Uh, so that's about it, really. Um, welcome to my world. Uh, yeah, here for about six weeks, I guess, in total. So trying to make it as comfortable as possible. Although I don't spend as much time as I'd like in here um, over in the comms tent, producing all the videos and all those sort of bits and pieces. But there you go, uh, lots more videos like this. I'm gonna just show you everything in the camp from the showers, to the toilets, to the mess hall, all, everything. Uh, this is Everest, this is Everest, the real deal.